Hey folks, Darren Tosh with DNA Auto Sales. Got a nice one today. We've got a uh, 2004 Ford Econoline one ton. It's a Quigley and obviously four wheel drive. Uh, really nice unit. Hard to find these things like this. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take the camera, take a lap around the van, take a look at it, uh, check out the inside and, and run it down the road, take it for a drive so you can kind of see what it is. But uh, uh, V10 automatic, real hard to find like this. Uh, so let's check it out, shall we? Okay, take a quick lap around it, point out any flaws, take a good close look at it. Um, it's actually in pretty nice shape. It is a Michigan van, so there's a couple of minor bubbles of rust on it. But overall, it's very clean, very solid, and well taken care of. Paint looks nice. Tires are in good shape. Back out shot of it. Picture the front. The Quigley conversion, one of the most popular vans conver van conversions. Been doing that since about 75, if I remember correctly. They take the vans and uh, right, right from the dealer, right from the factory, and convert them to four by fours. Dana 60 front axle, one ton, eight lug wheels. The Super Duty, so it's got four wheel disc brakes on it. Again, paint's real nice. You can see down here there's a couple of chips right there. New exhaust, it does have new brakes on it as well. Full running length boards on this side, factory. It's a chateau, so it's got seating for seven on the inside. Back bumper's got a little ding right in the center where they missed with a trailer hitch. A um, couple of, just a little bit of bubble right there for rust. Obviously the trailer hitch for towing. Again, tires in real nice shape. So there's a quick lack around it. Let's uh, take a look inside. Driver's door. It is fully loaded. Power windows, locks, screws, tilt, power seats, leather interior. Um, CD player, got the DVD player, rear air, rear heat. Uh, 84,000 miles. Out of the inside, let's pop the hood. Not that you can see anything underneath the hood of a van, but it does have the V10 in it. But that's all nice and clean, oil changed, all the fluids are nice, topped off, batteries in real nice shape, air conditioning blows cold. Take a look at the passenger side. Got a little bit of wear on the seat from jumping in and out here. That seat, I believe, has been redone. It looks real nice. To your door panel. Doors are still good yet. Back in the playground. Lights. DVD. Flip down DVD player right there. And then it does have the headphones, one on each side. Um, there's the player for the DVD. And then there's a power inverter as well underneath that seat. Um, aux inputs for the stereo system. And then a bench seat in the back. So seating for seven. Obviously the seats can pop in and out if you don't need them. Rear air conditioning. In the back, got some stains on the carpet there that something leaked it looked like. The rest of it are all as clean, a few you know, little scuffs and scratches back in here. But overall a good clean van. So that's about that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it for a quick drive around the block and see how it runs out. Okay, we're in the uh, 2004 E350 one ton Quigley four wheel drive van. We're going to take it for a ride. Let's see if it runs. Hey, it runs. Got to like that. It's always a good sign. So 
what I like to do is just take it for a spin, run it down the road, see how it feels, um, hit the brakes, run through the system, see what works and what doesn't work. So far the brakes work, so we're in good shape there. Now let's roll. job for them. Uh, this one has 86,000 miles on it right now. I may have said 84 earlier, but it is 86.6, so almost 87,000 miles. Waiting for a red light here. And we're green. Here we go. So, just like to run through see what works right now, I've got the air on, the air conditioning works nice, it's freezing cold. Uh, Rear air conditioning as well, that's on. Radio works. That's a good thing. Uh, cruise control. It's cruising, that works. Wipers, washer, that works. Windows. Again, this has been gone, gone through our shop. We've checked it out. Fresh oil change. Everything looks good underneath it. The brakes are brand new all the way around, front and rear. Uh, the fronts have uh, the rotors were replaced on the front, but they're in good shape. The brand new pads, brand new rotors in the back with the pads in the back. It does have four wheel disc brakes on it. Uh, no oil leaks underneath it. These these uh, Ford not modular V8s and V10s are known for exhaust manifolds leaking. This one shows no sign of that. It's nice and quiet. It does have to exhaust from the cat back. Um, just a nice ride. I drove this thing back about 60 miles after I bought it down the highway, 70 miles an hour. It's straight. It's true. There's no vibrations, no shakes, not waver, even though it sits so tall. Just a good, confident ride. So perfect if you need to do something outdoors, desert, dunes, trail riding, hunting, or just getting through a Michigan winter, or Oregon winter, or wherever you end up being. Um, this, these vans are very hard to find, but uh, that's kind of a quick rundown on it. Thanks for checking out the video. If you need to get a hold of me, 616-318-0118. Number's right on the screen there. Uh, check out our website for current pricing. The website is dnlautosales.com, and the end is spelled out. So again, appreciate you watching. Have a great day. We'll do a couple of drive-by videos and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. We'll see you.